Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Question today. With rackets like the Pure Drive that are a little on the stiffer side, what are the best strings to put on those? Stay tuned. All right, guys, so getting me going today and sponsoring my dark roast is Derek Wilson. Derek writes, enjoy. Harry writes, thank you. I appreciate it. All right, so that was good. <laughs> if you want to sponsor my coffee of the day, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. Link is below. Thank you everyone for keeping it going. Greatly appreciate you. All right, so question of the day comes from Potter. Potter? Pater? Sorry, P-A-T-E-R. Uh, Potter writes, hey mate, a shout out for you from Kazakhstan. Been watching your YouTube videos for quite a while already. Thanks for, thanks for, for what you do and keep it up. Could you please make a video about strings for stiff rackets like Pure Drive? Tension that should be strung at and level of players it works best for. Thanks again. And that's from, looks like Pater or Potter, P-A-T-E-R. All right. Okay. Now, I'm going to grab a pure drive here. Um, we all know that this is probably the top racket sold in the last 20 years. They probably sold more units of this racket than um, almost any other racket on the market. So there is something special about it. Um, 100 square inches, pretty thick, right? Which equates to stiffness. The stiffness rating from what I remember, um, and I'm not looking this up, is about 70 uh, from what I remember. So that's slightly on the stiffer side. You know, you're going to be able to dial up power when you want it. So what do you match with this racket? What do you match with this racket? Um, so if you're, let's say, a non-string breaker and a traditionalist, and you like like a like a firmer feel, like a stiffer feel from the racket, like let's say you're in your 40s or 50s, right? And you're, you know, you hit pretty flat continental everything, like a 4045 in America. I'm not sure what the ratings are in Kazakhstan. Um like the popular strings for that level of a player that doesn't want to go poly, like my number one and number two strings are these two, the React Pro 16 and the Velocity MLT 16. Now, if you're not a string breaker, go with 17, okay? If you're not a string breaker, okay? Get the benefits of the thinner gauge so it moves a little more when you decide to spin it. But these are my two best sellers and i like these i like these a lot if you want that kind of traditional feel from a tr traditional you know premium synthetic like back in the day 20 30 years ago these are probably the best uh suited for this pure drive now tension though tension if you hit flat straight back and through and used to string it at 65 pounds don't do that today okay uh, your new tension today would be 58. Okay, so that's slightly on the higher side. If you still sail the ball, go 60. I don't recommend it, but but you can go that tight. That's max tension recommended for this racket. Most of the time, I go 55. Okay, 55 is pretty standard for using the synthetics. If you're of that you know, caliber of player. Okay. Just normal weekend warrior. 
Okay, normal lead player. All right, now, if you wanna go into the premium stuff and wanna get more feel, more touch, more of everything, go gut. Yeah, it's all right, you don't need to go gut. Go with these, go with Gamma Professional, guys. We got two gauges and a rough one. Okay, for those of you, again, who don't break strings, 17. All right, standard 16 is always great. For those of you who want a little spin, go with the professional spin. For those of you who were and remember the top spin days, you know, the string that was called top spin, but this is way better, okay? A lot more spin, a lot softer, great all-around string. I consider this string the best synthetic on the market. My opinion Right, I, I string a lot of these and I love it. People that I string for and recommend usually go right back to these strings, okay? Great all around string, all around. Soft, feel, power, everything. And you don't have to worry about taking care of the gut, okay? So again, tension, 55, 58 if you're that person. Um, if you don't need it that tight, do it at 50, okay? Save your arm a little bit, get the feel. Now, for all you people who are hard hitters and hit with a lot of spin, and you want the poly, you need the poly, you have to have the poly. Well, I'll show you the poly. We got the top strings that I string that racket with, RPM, ALU, confidential. So because that racket is on the stiffer side, we need a stiffer string to uh, keep the ball in a little bit. So because the strings are a little wider apart, right? When you go with a stiffer string, there's more chances of it snapping, especially if you hit with a good amount of top. So that's why these strings match that racket well. I normally, for the people who do a poly, go full bed of this, go full bed of this. And 17 is the um, the choice gauge for the RPM, obviously 125, right? And 16L. So everything's in that 125 on the three. So to combat, you know, like the power, negate it a little bit, these stiff strings will, off, offset the stiffness of the racket a little bit too. Um, if you want that feature, 55 is your gauge. If you want to utilize the snapback and the firmness of the strings with the stiff racket, 52 or 50 or 48 if you can handle it, okay, will give you the most action, the most spin, when you slice that ball, it's going to skid. When you serve with your kick serve, it's going to jump, okay? At 48, at 50, at, at 48, at 50, 52 is kind of like neutral, okay? So try these at, try them at 48. I tell everybody that if you can handle it, all right? Now, and again, I mean, this, if you're of that person, like 4045 and up, this will work if you like poly. So the most popular hybrid is, we got the Confidential 16L and the React 16. So this holds tension very well. The slipperiness of this React helps this Confidential move on top of this. So you get feel, spin, predictability from these two put together, okay? This is my recommendation for hybrid. Now, if you want something a little firmer and you want kind of a traditional kind of stiffer feel for your stiffer racket, uh, go with the velocity, go with the velocity. It'll just be a little firmer. Um, more like if you're a flat hitter and you want a hybrid, go here, okay? Go these two. If you want to soften it though, if you want to soften it and you like that roughness, 
from the spin, right, go here, okay? Again, like 48 to 55, right, should be your tension range. Obviously, the lower you can go, the better, okay? Now, if you don't break strings, if you do not break strings and you hit flat and you want the um, benefits of a poly, but you don't like the harshness of it, go here. Do that on the main or do that on the main, either one of these two on the main, right? And cross it with this. Or, or if you want it firmer, go with ALU or RPM, okay, right? But these on the main will soften up the string bed for you and give you the benefit of these, okay? And do it at 48 if you can, up to 52. You'll feel a world of difference. It'll feel a little looser. It'll be a little easier on the arm. Um, again, if you are of that type of player who you know, suffers from a little arm injury or a little tennis elbow there, go with the synthetic on the main. Go with the synthetic on the main. If you want a stiffer feel, go with velocity on the main. All right? So I gave you guys a bunch of options. Um, you guys know what I like, okay, and what I recommend. So test it out and see what you like. All right? Thank you for watching Tennis Spin where we put our spin on your tennis. Uh, is this on? Harry, Harry, what are we doing here? Oh, hey bud, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, so I'm just setting up my swing vision over here so that during our hitting session, uh, we can, you know, see how bad I'm doing today. Okay, great. Yeah. But you won't be doing bad, Eric. No. I'll... You'll be moving your feet watching the ball. This this is why I love you, buddy. <laughs>